Hey friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafty, She Knows It, and today we're going to make these super cute little flower pretzels. If you saw my last video with the bunny pretzels, these are extremely similar. We're just doing flowers instead. So these are still perfect for Easter and spring, but also if you're doing like a flower power, um, 70s themed hippie kind of birthday party or party in general, these would be super cute for that. I'm using the pastel M&Ms they have at springtime and Easter, but of course you could use the regular M&Ms that are more like primary colors if you want to. And then I have the little buttersnap pretzels that I like using um, and some candy melts, and I will link all these supplies in the description below this video. We're gonna go ahead and lay out a bunch of the little uh, pretzels on a cookie sheet that's lined with parchment paper. So just go ahead and lay a bunch out. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and place one candy melt on top of each pretzel. And I already have the oven preheating to 225 degrees, and we're just gonna bake them for about two to three minutes at 225. This will allow the candy melts to melt enough that we can kind of push the M&Ms into them, but they're not so melty that the candy melt is like oozing through the holes of the pretzel. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for two to three minutes and let the candy melts melt a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put little flowers out of M&Ms on each little pretzel. So I'm gonna pick one color to be the center. I don't have a ton of yellow, so I'll probably do some yellows for the centers, but not the petals. And I'm gonna put kind of push the center down like that, and then we're gonna put colors all around it. Oopsies. So you wanna go ahead and do this while the candy melts are still nice and melty. Okay, just like that. So you'll be doing six little petals and one in the center. So we're gonna go ahead and do all of them just like that. So one in the middle, kind of push it down a little bit so that the um, candy melt spreads out a tiny bit. Then I'm trying to do them where all the M's are facing down. Obviously you can do it with the M's facing up. I'm just kind of trying to hide the M's so that they look more clean and a little bit um, more uniform. Otherwise the M's are kind of facing all different directions and some kind of show the M's more than others. Um, so this way with the M's down, they just kind of look all the same. I'm also kind of trying to alternate which one's the center color and which ones the petals are and to have a bunch of different color combinations. So like if I'm gonna do a yellow center with pink, maybe the next one's gonna be a yellow center with purple petals and just kind of doing all different combinations to make them kind of look unique. Now there are places online I can try to find some and link some that sell um, specific colors. So say you only wanted to do purple and yellow flowers and it was to match a specific color theme for a party. There are places where you can buy just M&Ms of a specific color, like a whole bunch of one color at a time. So I'll try to find one of those websites and link it below. So that way if you want just like a bunch of bright pink M&Ms or a bunch of yellow, you don't have to buy a ton of bags and sift through all the M&Ms. You can just get the ones you need. Okay friends, that's it. The flower pretzels are now done. Just go ahead and let them cool off and harden up a little bit before you serve them. I love how cute and colorful they are. I just think they're such a fun little addition to add to any dessert bar or to serve at a party. If you don't wanna serve them the same day that you made them, you can store them in an airtight container to serve later or to give as a gift. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye. She's crafty and she knows it. She's crafty and she knows it. She's crafty and she knows. She's crafty and she knows.